I want to welcome everyone to Hong Kong and to HKUST and to um, the business school building here at UST. Uh, my name is Albert Park. I'm the director of the Institute for Emerging Market Studies here at uh, HKUST. And uh, this is an institute which was founded a couple of years ago uh, that supports faculty research and activities related to a variety of issues uh, confronting emerging markets. Um, it includes over 40 faculty associates from across the university, mostly in the different business school departments and in the social sciences. Uh, this event, uh, as been noted on the program, is an activity of the World Bank Jobs and Development Network. Our institute is part of a network of institutes that were contracted a couple of years ago to work with the World Bank on their uh, research content and activities related to issues of employment in developing countries and emerging market countries. And uh, we have other partner institutions in Eastern Europe and Poland, uh, the Institute for Structural Research, and Piotr Lewandowski, the director, is here and is going to be participating in our event. And also another partner is in uh, Delhi, the Indian Council for Research on International Economic Relations, and Vashist is here uh, from ICRIR and will be presenting on the last day. Uh, and also uh, other partners are the Development Policy Research Unit at the University of Cape Town and the Latin American e Economics Association. Uh, so we're grateful for the World Bank actually for financially supporting this conference. Um, so the idea of the conference is to bring together kind of a dangerous mix of macro people and applied micro people. Uh, when I was at, uh, earlier this summer, um, at the IZA World Bank Development and Labor Conference, you know, there was a policy session at the end, and most labor economists are empirical, and they tend to focus on supply-side issues about returns to education, training programs, uh, other types of act active employment programs. Um, but the big issue everyone cares about are where do the jobs come from? And that's really a macro issue in many respects related to structural change, related to urbanization. And uh, at that event, there were, was really not much presence. And uh, so I felt, uh, and we felt, that it would be good to try to organize an event to bring kind of the two groups together. Um, there's a lot of, I think, macro research, too, is engaged in very important big issues related to growth and development, but they often don't focus uh, on the specific institutions of the labor market, especially in specific countries, especially large, important countries like China or India, uh, with some exceptions, of course. Um, our first speaker, Chris Pisritas, has, of course, made his name looking at the intersection of labor and macroeconomics. Um, so I'm hoping that this will be a productive interaction, but will require, I think, a little bit of patience uh, to uh, see how some of these issues are approached by uh, other types of economists. Um, we've also made a conscious effort to put an emphasis on China, since that's kind of our comparative advantage sitting here in Hong Kong. And I think we've been very successful at bringing together really some of the best people in the world working on both the macro and micro sides of labor issues uh, in China. Uh, so uh, the last thing I want to do is thank the organizing committee for this a conference which included uh, Chris and Rachel and Yong, Yong Wang and uh, Jin Wang. And so that was the only way to kind of collectively figure out who the right people would be to, to bring together in this room. Um, and finally, just in terms of logistics for the talks themselves, some people have sent emails. We've been trying to be responsive to them about how the format is going to work. Our suggestion is that uh, speakers spend 30 minutes on presentation, five minutes for discussion, and 10 minutes for open-ended Q&A. Uh, and I think uh, chairs should strictly cut off speakers at 35 minutes, just so there's time for the discussant and a little bit of uh, question. But speakers can, can, if they go over, can eat into their own uh, discussion time. So I think it's probably better to focus on clarifying questions during the first 30 minutes, but speakers can and manage their, their, their time and their question, their responses themselves. Uh, so without further ado, we can go to the first uh, talk. Um, so 
let me uh, introduce Chris Pisarides, who's going to talk about very new work on China.